Fox Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. So the opening lineup for the Heat, the wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward position. And for the Pelicans, sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Dallin Junis. And it's McCollum in at the point guard. Steve, no small ball here tonight. Both teams rely on their centers to set the tone at both ends. And with the way teams switch nowadays, you don't know if they'll be guarding each other. It's not the type of head-to-head -head matchup we might have seen 20 years ago. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Ingram. Butler knocks it loose. On the wing, Rogier. Tipped away. Ingram with the steal. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. He kicks to Valanciunas. Five on the clock. Here's Williamson. Knocks it loose. So Rogier will bring it up for the Heat. Hey, Smitty, you want to talk about explosiveness? This is your man, Zion Williamson. Kevin, I mean, when he was in college, he blew through a shoe, making a cut. He's so strong, Kevin, the leather couldn't hold up. The Heat shooting their first free throws of the game. throw good out of bio ga the three-point shooting for miami has been the story sometimes they run cold like a lot of teams man when they're hot they are fun to watch a couple years back kevin they led the league in percentage from long distance last season one of the worst in that category until the playoffs where they rediscovered that shooting touch and he makes both free throws Steve, we've talked about this. A great job by the Pelicans front office in surrounding Zion Williamson with talent. Yes, Kevin. When he's healthy, they're one of the best teams in the league. But to go the distance, he has to be available. So when we're talking about team identities, uh, Craig, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. That free throw, no good. Certainly goes to the line a lot. A spot where Williamson would like to become more efficient. Good on the second free throw. Here's Miami now. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Win one, lose one. This might be the case again for both teams this coming season. McCollum, no good. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Converting inside through the defender. Hero determined to get the bucket to fall. Here's Ingram. Buried from 15 feet out. 
And this team looking to get him the ball and get him in rhythm quickly. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Now, here's Rogier. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Adebayo. Eighth in rebounding. And, of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in blocks per. And he's a top 10 rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven, and he competes with you for the entire game. throw good out of bio hey Steve at this point of the season how essential is it to have a cohesive sense of identity within the team it's absolutely critical especially this deep into the season you want to have a very tightly knit squad Kevin coming into the home stretch looking who's out there now for the Pelicans Nancy's checked in for Williamson Trey Murphy comes in for Brandon Ingram and Hawkins subbed in for McCullough and out of bio drops them both when your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Defended by Butler. Lays it up off the glass. Keeping the feet moving and found an opening. Murphy doing work in close. Pass to Hero. And Tyler Hero gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Some changes for New Orleans. Cody Zeller's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And Daniels subbed in for Herbert Jones. And a new group in for the Heat. Kevin Love's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Caleb Martin comes in for Butler. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Rozier. Pass to Richardson. 107 left in the first quarter of the game. Shot clock at six. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Pelicans trail by three. Here's Hawkins. Zeller trying to free himself up. Hawkins shot good. For Miami, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. The pass to Hawkins. Kicks it to Love. It's Martin on the wing. He had 15 points last out. Six to shoot. Richardson finds Robinson. Three-pointer. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Kicks it out to Hawkins. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. It's Richardson on the wing. Passes it to Love. Here's Hockey. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Excellent move to score the basketball despite a weak hit. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Heat out front. They're up by three. We've got more in store for you right after this. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And when you consider how the Heat are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? You can see they were well-prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively, also keeping them out of sync. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Three-point lead. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but they had to tighten it up. It did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm, despite trying a few different things. Sometimes, it's just not your night. On the court for the Heat, the wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Hakez in at the four. Muscling through the contact, Zion getting assertive. Bounce pass from Rogier. Here's Hero. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. 
Heroes got the lead up to six now for Miami. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Brandon Ingram's work ethic has made him an all-star. He was in the Pelicans facility so much they banned him on off days. He said, I hate it, but I use those off days to visualize the game. So what is he like? He says being called out. Players at this level think they're above that. Kevin? Not him. Hey, David, thanks. The Heat making a switch here. Highsmith has checked in. Pelicans trail by six. That's good from Williamson on the assist by Jones. Williamson's got four this quarter. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Pass to Highsmith. Hero on the wing. Here's Butler. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Jimmy Butler doesn't need a play call for him to make an impact. He's willing to do the dirty work. Ingram against Butler. And it's Ingram missing. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. And Adebayo throws it down. And we've seen Butler develop his passing game over the years. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rules. Could you see that? You know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. I like the former idea. Uh, it seems less extreme. And the Pelicans making a change here. Alvarado's checked in. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Terry Rozier. The Pelicans come into this one after the win against the Trailblazers in Portland. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. Looking at the veteran Jonas Valanciunas, Steve, he remains a nightly double-double threat. He's someone that likes to flex his muscle on both ends, Kevin. A big man who uses his size to his advantage and is reliable at cashing in from inside. Here's Alvarado. After Tyler Hero's bucket, here's Williamson. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Yep, that one goes. Butler's got the lead up to 12 now for the Heat. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Alan Junis against Adebayo. Just five on the clock. Looking to end the run. And McCollum with the layup. McCollum's got his first basket. Shakes off the contact. C.J. McCollum is a monster. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Butler. 
That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. The love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. And so it's Miami in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? It's much different. Uh, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They ended the second with a solid nine-point lead. A nice show of force by them. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. They're running the offense beautifully this one. I'm looking for good looks. Their confidence looks sky high. It might be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow at this point. Kenny, let's get your opinion on New Orleans. Well, it's never fun. You're playing against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. The Heat leading by nine. The front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the center filling out the middle. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Rozier. Pelicans pull it in. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. McCollum feeling it out a bit. It's Ingram on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Misses the wing three. So Rozier will bring it up for Miami. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender. But, boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing. I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. <laughs> and Miami calls their first time out of the game.
a big group substitution here for New Orleans. Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Trey Murphy comes in for Zion Williamson. Hawkins checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Daniels subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Ogier the pass to Hawkins. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, these defenders just looked a bit overmatched, especially inside. For Miami, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Pelicans trail by 12. Hawkins kicks to Daniels. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Cody Zeller's checked in for Herbert Jones. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. Josh Richardson comes in for Ogier. One fifty-three left to play in the third. Zeller passes to Daniels. Five to shoot. The dish to Nance. This one for three. Love grabs the board. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Martin. That's in there. Love with the assist. Martin's got the lead up to 14 now for Miami. There's 117 left in the third quarter. And good that time. Daniels has got his first two points of the night. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Here's Robinson. Pelicans with the rebound. Up next for him, the Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Pass to Hawkins. Hands in the high post. Comes up empty down low. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Here's Jaquez. He's covered by Daniels and stolen by Zell. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Clearly a foul. Pelican shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Two shots. That's on the first. First free throw is good. Jose Alvarado, he's checked in for New Orleans. Good on both. Miami leading by 10. Richardson the pass to Love. And here's Richardson. Scoreless thus far. Love, no good. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Miami Heat with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's listen in on what Eric Spolstra had to say to his team. Trust each other. Let's get that ball moving. Okay? Ball moving. No holds. No holds. Well, moving the ball is so important to these coaches. I mean, it helps make the offense run smoothly, Kevin. When you move the ball, more scoring opportunities open up. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. The wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. 
Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the four slot. Tyler Hero hammering it down. Playing with a lot of confidence. Now here's McCollum. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. Hero attacking. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. A wrinkle that Hero's been adding to his game. Beating people off the dribble. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Miami. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And another stat that they've excelled at is points off assists. They're moving the ball around and creating great looks for one another. He's an offensive-minded guard with limitless scoring potential. I think Tyler Hero will be a household name soon enough. And Hero drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Cullen passes to Williamson. Icewith grabs the miss. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. The pass to Williamson. Good on the bucket. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. He kicks it to Butler. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. And he makes that one. And the Heat lead by 14. I love it. Got the basketball used to pick. A high percentage shot for Jimmy Butler off pick and roll plays. Here's Ingram. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his fifth rebound in this one. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Back to Rozier. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And Miami has possession. A 12-point game. Butler feeling out a bit. And it's Adebayo in the corner. Shot clock at six. For the three. And Jimmy Butler, good for three. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Heat. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And, and that was working all game long. And so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Butler. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler. Sensational game for him in terms of shooting efficiency. He's taken nothing but high percentage shots. That's how he's managed to hit over 60% from the field. I mean, making just about everything he's looked at. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. Here's McCollum. And Rozier pulls it down. Rozier's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hero, no good. 
Pelicans trail by 15. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter. Then he attacks the glass. Filthy. And that one drops. Yeah, they've sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Now, Hero. Floats it up for Adebayo. Ingram against Butler. Over in the corner, Rogier. From outside, off the mark. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep one. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Bam. Activity on blast tonight. How pleased were you with the performance? I'm just happy we won. You know, the stats don't matter unless you get a win. So I'm happy we got a win and keep dedicating them to my mom, man. You know, she's my blessing, so she just keeps blessing me for some reason. Love the love, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.